my friends, best greetings from Kiev, the capital for Ukraine. And my name is Viktor Fursov, and I will tell you a little bit about insects. Well, about insects in autumn time. And this is a wonderful, wonderful leaves, which I collected just this morning time. And by the way, autumn time. You may say, no insects, fortunately. But for entomologists, that's not fortunately. But nevertheless, entomologists can find insects everywhere and in any time, even in winter. But it's more difficult, but still possible. But what's about autumn? In autumn time, when I'm walking around, even just in a city, you can find insects. And these insects, what I will talk in, what I will tell you just now, very common. This is a bug. No, this is not a bug just from your bedroom. No, no, that's another one. That's a bug which I collected just on a tree. This is a Phytophagos bug, which is eating just some seeds. And the name of this bug, just Firebug, English name. Very common, and this bug is widely spread everywhere. I put it here in a petri dish, and so we can try to escape easily, but nevertheless, they are not predacious, they are Phytophagos. So they are eating just seeds, seeds of lime. And I collected them on lime tree. Sometimes uh, they eat seeds of other plants, like uh, acacia, for instance, or malva, maybe. So they are Phytophagos, so they are just sucking seeds. So, so they are not so dangerous anyway. Just, <coughs> but and these insects, these bugs, they are very common, they are widely spread everywhere, as I said, in Europe, just in Ukraine, in Russia, till the western parts of China, in Northern and South America as well, and even in India. Of course, some species of the same family, Perocaridae, is quite close to this species firebug, Perocaris opterus, this one. Perocaris opterus, remember about it here, you see, larvae and adults. By the way, <coughs> these insects were developing with five larval stages before, before the final stage, adult stage. And how they overwinter? They overwintering either larvae or adults. And also there is a special note that some females they can lay eggs in the springtime, so because they were overwintering. Usually if adults, females will appear somewhere approximately in August, they will not lay eggs, they will overwinter and just mature females will lay eggs next spring, somewhere on ground, under stones, somewhere on bark of trees, and new larvae will appear just only on next springtime. A lot of them will die definitely because of winter, but nevertheless the color is red, so not so many birds are eating them. They don't like eating them because they are, not, they are a little bit poisonous. Probably they are not tasty. Some mammals can eat it, but I'm not sure how much they will eat it, because still probably they are not so tasty. And also I would like to say <coughs> that these insects they are very famous because they were studied during many, many years, over 300 of scientific papers were published about these tiny, very tiny bugs, because this species, like a Drosophila, very easily rearing in, at laboratory. So easy to rear, not dangerous, not pest if it escapes outside laboratory. So people studied the hormone systems, people studied the biochemistry, cytogenetics, for instance, and number of chromosomes for 2N for female is 24 and for male 2N of chromosomes 23. And by the way, uh, different scientists studied even other organisms which are developing inside of these fire bugs. Yes, indeed, because we found there are some special bacteria developing inside fire bugs, also some Microsporidia, 
like Nazema, some, some leptomonas, genus leptomonas developing inside, and even some tiny worms of a family Mermitidae, Mermitidae hexamermis genus developing inside these tiny bit bugs. So even these bugs, we have some kind of parasitoids, we have diseases with because of some bacteria, even if some worms or some another organisms developing inside. And also I'd like to say a few words about the names, the just common, common names for these bugs. In the Russian language this is a the common name is translated in English like a bug soldier, soldatik, soldier, yeah? In Ukrainian Kazachok, or just in <coughs> for instance also in French, this is a gendarme. Uh, you say this is like like a soldier, like officer. But in English, fireball. So that's lovely fireball, which like to eat these tiny seeds, tiny seeds of lime tree. They are not dangerous. They are crawling here around. They will not escape. But I will take a few of them just for tiny for the session. For next for the session to touch the macro video near this video so you will see them as a macro video together just to remind you about funny story of this lovely firebug so go outside if you have time for excursion look around for insects for animals to enjoy nature and be careful about insects take care of them don't destroy them just enjoy them observation during your excursion and watch my video about another insects. If you like this video, press like, write comments, ask your questions. You are really welcome to ask me what do you want about insects, about nature, about entomology, about Ukraine. I will be glad to answer you, by the way. So write your questions beneath this video and press like, subscribe to my video and looking forward to see you on my channel. Good luck! And see you soon. Yeah, have a good day. Have a good autumn in your city. Goodbye.